and welcome to PM Creations. Uh, thank you for joining me today. So this is the month of March and in the arts community the challenge for the month of March is, as far as I know one of the challenges, is March of Robots. Um, so that is an exciting and interesting challenge and I've never drawn robots before uh, but I am uh, attempting a robot this month. Um, as per usual, I'm not going to do a robot for every day of the month, uh, but in the spirit of uh, M March of Robots, I have uh, I have drawn a robot and I'm going to be painting that in front of you guys today. Um, so this is um, the drawing that I have done. As you can see, it is a rabbit robot um, and uh, I'm excited for it. It was interesting drawing it and I'm excited to see what it's going to end up looking like uh, at the end of uh, the painting. Um, for this painting I've actually decided to use my gouache set uh, and um, I have, I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, video of um, reviewing and trying out the gouache set for the first time. Um, if you remember in that one, I said that I was going to leave the, um, the covers on it uh, to maintain the, the viscosity of the liquid, like the jelliness of the gouache. But it turned out like even with it on, a lot of it like really dried up uh, for the most part. So I just decided to kind of take them all off uh, this time around. And I'm just gonna use it like this and it looks so nice. Um, and I really want to use the gouache a bit more too because uh, I've been sticking to wa water watercolors a lot um, and I want to try out the gouache and I think the gouache um, opaqueness would look really nice with this particular painting because it's almost like a sci-fi uh, action robot uh, painting obviously. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's uh, dive right in. Wish me luck.
here it is my painting that I did uh, in the spirit of March of Robots so this is what it looks like I'll bring it up close it is a rabbit robot some might call it robot <laughs> um, his name is Rusty the robot actually there's a funny story behind this um, the name of the robot was already in my head the minute I was thinking about uh, a, a robot for March of Robots uh, I decided I'm gonna make it Rus Rusty the robot and it's gonna have like this rusty color like um, almost like bronze rusted look about him um, and then I, I also wanted to do a rabbit uh, so badly um, because I, I like rabbits and also I thought it would be kind of cute as well as kind of like uh, sci-fi-ish um, so because of that I decided to do this so the idea is that parts of him is still live like the head and the tail but because of something or rather and I have an idea in my head now of a story too for this character um, because of something he is mostly robot as well at this point in time um, but yeah so this is what it looks like it has a little carrot uh, in the chest area and uh, yeah it has a bit of a, a smirk as well I'll take some pictures and then I'll post it on Instagram for you guys to take a look in different angles and stuff like that um, but yeah so that is it I'm so happy I did this actually I'm quite proud of it I ended up using some gold foil um, as well just to kind of bring out and pop um, the drawing a bit more uh, to make it shiny and whatnot um, but other than that so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this I really enjoyed uh, painting this um, uh, painting for the March of Robots um, challenge uh, if you did March of Robots as well I would love to see your artworks uh, so please do um, tag me uh, on Instagram and show me your artworks, uh, robots, whatever you draw. I would love to see them. If you follow this along, maybe I would love to see them as well. Um, but other than that, I will see everyone next time. Thank you for joining me. Keep painting, keep drawing. Bye, everyone.